People increasingly think about the cows, chickens, and pigs they eat, or choose not to eat. Why not the plants? A growing field of study recently brought to popular attention in The New Yorker details the lengths plants go to avoid becoming an animal's dinner. A go-to anecdote is research showing Brussels sprouts and other plants can detect when an insect lays eggs on their leaves. To neutralize the gestating threat, the plants alter their surface chemistry to attract female parasitic wasps, whose own young then hatch nearby and literally consume the threat. This demonstrable will to survive may bring plants closer to animals in our imaginations, but the science continues to be hotly debated. Plants, after all, don't have brains. Comparing their existential struggles to animals seems far-fetched, but more and more studies on the wily side of vegetation continue to test our assumptions. This month, University of Missouri biologists offered an especially eerie example. They studied the thale cress, a kale and broccoli cousin less favored by human taste buds. The biologists observed its behavior when hungry insects appeared and came to a powerful conclusion. The cress can hear when it's being eaten alive by predators, and it tries to stop them. Arabidopsis, or thale cress, is especially popular for plant researchers because they've sequenced its entire genome. For their study, the Missouri researchers first recorded the vibrations caterpillars make when they feed on the cress, along with other common phenomena experienced by the plants. They then exposed thale cress to those vibrations. When the cress felt a benign vibration, as from the wind, it didn't react. But exposed to the caterpillar vibrations, it released potentially toxic mustard oils, reacting to the threat. Though researchers are unsure how the thale cress detected the vibrations in the first place, they concluded the plant knew it was being consumed. Whether one chooses to see this as a plant reacting to electrical impulses or something more mysterious, the finding is remarkable, and it's likely just the beginning of where such research can go.